I fall in love too easily. What's up everyone? It's your girl Summer Daniel and today I'll be filming my how to do a side slick ponytail on naturally curly hair. So if you want your ponytail to look like this, stay tuned. This little sucker just doesn't want to go home. Like, please, go. My face is not your home. But anyway, starting with brushes, combs, all that good stuff is the brushes. Because that's what allows us to slick it down. And I have two brushes. And you guys may be saying, why do you need two brushes? And I'm going to tell you. I use a Demon brush because it's less harsh on your hair and like pulling it provides not as much pulling because these little plastic bristles they smoothly go through so you don't have to worry about it pulling unlike this which has like tiny little bristles everywhere that aren't as uniformed i know i sound educational i'm just gonna sound education ah! so that's why i use two brushes okay moving on to combs i use this comb as like to part my hair and actually guys i'm moving on to the next one i also use this and this is like an edge brush and comb combo i guess you can say it's a combo combination okay but anyway so i use this also i may just use this today i don't know if i'm using a comb i use a comb because it like helps me part my hair my hair whoa my hair <laughs> guys i don't have that i don't <laughs> why did i just say that but anyway it helps me part my hair more effectively while this does it more efficiently i guess you can say that it just gets to it more it makes it more neat but i'm not really like a big stickler on like perfect parts so yeah i really don't care i guess you can say but i use this part in a toothbrush to get my edges um sorry a little battery but anyway i use the toothbrush to lay down my edges initially a lot of things i use two things because this is softer this is kind of hard and i use this to just like create that initial like so i have that pattern the comb part and then i lay down that part with the brush so that's why i have two moving on to products for to like lay down the edge that i put down i use this blueberry bliss curls control paste by curls and guys i highly recommend this product because it's a very natural um edge control and it provides me with the slick on slick down you know what i'm saying yeah boy if you don't yeah. the next one is this kinky curly i don't i keep saying kinky curly not today but it's not there not today that's also that's a leave him in that's really awesome but this is the kinky curly um coiling custard and i love this stuff guys it doesn't make my hair feel hard but this is just to like provide that slick down that's what i use you can use anything. I also use Eco Styler, but I prefer this one over it. So yeah, over Eco Styler. Then as like, you know, that refresher when it comes to getting to the ponytail part, I use the Shea Moisture Coconut Hibiscus Curl Enhancing Smoothie with Silk Protein and Neem Oil. And this is just to like refresh like the hair on my ponytail because when it's almost washed, then you know your curls aren't as popping as they were before. So you kind of have to use that little secret formula of your leave-in or this is like a, a curling head smooth like it says it is with the dun 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 every curly girl's dream water because water provides this also it's like that magical like potion that like just you know just does something i don't know what's in the h2o but it is doing something but anyway guys that's all the products for what you need so let's get into it everyone so i may be like looking this way because i have a mirror right here so i kind of need to like see where i'm going because the camera's not that efficient i guess you can say because you know you're gonna shoot off an of iphone 7 but like, let's see what we're working with let's see what we're working with our launch day is definitely going to be today or tomorrow because uh and a deep condition because about that time but anyway guys basically just i don't this sounds i guess just pull your hair don't be like pulling and yanking it because that's bad for your hair but just like Use your fingers to like, I guess, just help it out, you know, these little guidance, you know, it's been in that bun for a while. But anyway, um, you can either put your part either in the middle or on the side. I prefer the side because that helps you with the swoop seats better. I call them swoop seats. I don't know what you guys say, but that's what I call them. But anyway, 
going to start looking into the mirror. You're going to basically just take it from right here. And you're going to go back. Yeah. And just use your fingers. This part kind of hurts because, you know, it, it's, it's time for my hair to be washed. But yeah. So once you get that part, like I said, you use a rag tail comb. I use this comb on this little thing so I can have like a straighter edge, I guess you can say. But like I said, I'm not like a stickler when it comes to like the perfect edges. Y'all, this is harder than what it look like. Y'all, YouTube people, y'all make this look so easy. This is kind of hard, like going from your mirror to your camera. Oh yeah. But anyway, I'm sorry guys. I just really need to. Okay, I think that's good enough. We're just gonna leave that here. But anyway, you see, it's not the perfect thingy. What is it called? Part, that's what it's called. It's not the perfect part, but it gets me there. So next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna use your handy dandy spray bottle with the water. And guys, if you wanna make your hair like, I guess more manageable to like put it in, you can add some conditioner and yeah. So you just spray it. Try not to spray too much cause you don't really need that much for spray. Just, <laughs> just enough to get your hair wet at the top. So once you do that, your hair should be pretty much wet. And now moving on to the slicking down part, you're going to open up your Eco Styler Gel, whatever. I'm using, like I said, the Kinky Curly brand. It smells amazing. I don't know why it doesn't have a label. But literally, take some, spread it in your hands. I'm going to rub it down. Make, gotta make sure your part's still there. You don't want to lose it because I definitely just lost my part. Hold on, y'all. Quickie fixies, fixie fixies, quicksy fixies. Gotta hurry up and add this part because I definitely just lost that. How did I do that? Alrighty, I got it back. Okay, so now that you have like enough product to show you, just put it at the top. You're gonna take your brush. Like I said, I use this first to just get that initial lay down. And you're gonna make sure you get all the way in the back and everything. Try not to miss any part. And you may need like some more water just to make it easier for it to go through because like I said, it's wash day and your girl's hair is a little tangled. And my part's literally not that far. Like I literally did an inch part and yeah, you just wanna make sure you keep it. It literally sounds like I'm tearing my hair, guys, but I promise I'm not. So, once you have that... Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. You need a hair tie. That's another important thing. Without the hair tie, there would be no uh, ponytail. I forgot what I was doing. So, now that you did that, you want to just straighten it out with this. And look at my cheekbones on 100 Get it as straight as you can. Then you're gonna take it and you're gonna tie it. You can either do it once or twice. I do it twice to like make sure that it's like in there secure, you know. And I highly recommend that you get like maybe like if you want it, if you don't want your hair tied to show, just get one that matches your hair color because um. Yeah, I don't really care. I'm not going where I'm just doing this tutorial because I have nothing to do. Yeah, so yeah. So I'm looking into the mirror. I'm gonna try to look into the camera, y'all. Like I said, it's harder than what it seems. So make sure you get all your little flyaways, as you guys can see, pretty laid down. Look at that arm muscle, though. Whoa. Okay. So now that that's laid down, here comes the itch part. So I use my handy dandy comb and I just like, I guess split this boy and the bad boy in half. And hold it while you're splitting it in half. And you can also do that before you do, like put it in a thing. I just think this helps me better. Cause you, you might be like, well, how does this help you better? But I just like having it already in the ponytail and then doing it. Cause it just provides it. Ooh, I'm better guy. 
So now this is like when I use the brush, but I do it very gently because this brush is kind of hard. And I'm not trying to lose my edges. Not today, not now, not forever, ever. I love my edges. I love them. So you can make that part more profound if you want. Just try to keep that separate. Now, I don't want to like I razor my hair. I don't even think that's what people do, but razor my hair. And just try to keep that part separate and brush that back. There we go. Nayo. Now what I also do, I also use this as an edge control too because it's just that amazing. And I don't want to use too much of this because this, you don't want to like look like your edges are sweating. But I use this and I just go like this with my toothbrush just to, like I said, hold that stuff down. And guys, if you want the little sideburn thing, you can do that too. Bro, y'all, my cheekbone is on 100 from this angle, and I don't know how I feel about it. Yeah. Just keep going. Like, it depends on how defined you want that to be. I literally kind of just messed this up. This is like super hard. Super, super hard. How do you guys do the hair tutorial? I was like, I need them. Where do I? Hold on. I lost my comb. Like I said, just keep using this. And you guys probably gonna be like, when are you gonna use the edge control? I am gonna use the edge control, just not now. Not now, not ever, not forever. I'm, just I'm definitely gonna use it. So just make sure you do that little final swoop de doop -de, Whatever you call them. I don't know what they're called. Let me go check in the mirror and make sure this is not looking jacked up because no one wants no jacked edges. Okay. So as you guys can see, you can just like, if you want more definition or even more rolls, you just take your little comb or your whatever. It don't even have to be this. And you just make it more defined in that part. And also, you can also do it to this side too. I just prefer it this way, I guess you can say. So now that we have that set, we're gonna lay them down for sure. Make it finalized once you like the look. And take your your, to your toothbrush, dip it in the your edge control, and just make it permanent. Cause I feel like that edge control is like that factor where it's just like it's permanent. And then you can also put like do some edges right here too. I don't like doing too many swoopies on this side like I already stated. But just like a little something, something. This little piece of hair. Okay. And y'all can really just go like that and just tighten up your ponytail. Now onto like the last part because you guys can see we have the edges set in place. We're just gonna refresh the ponytail. So you're gonna take your water. Don't put too much, cause if you put too much, your hair is gonna be soaking wet. And then that's gonna be like shrinkage, just like enough where it's a little bit like kind of. And you're gonna take your little leave-in or your curl enhancing smoothie. And usually us natural girls, you know, we use a whole bunch of product, but I don't like using too much on this part. I just use like a little. Which you're probably like, how dare she? She's not using like a whole handful. Um, I don't really need that, but for this kind of style, like I usually need it for other ones, but not for this one. And you just rake it in. Oh, that stuff smells wonderful. Oh, okay. I thought my just came. Yeah. So you just do that, and there it is, y'all. Even if you want like more of that color, you can do it while it's not literally washed in. my hair is <laughs> Shutting. But yeah guys, this is the final look.
Okay, so I was editing, uh, as I was editing this video, I saw that like my side ponytail didn't look like as secure. That's because I only did it twice. I don't like to like have a dent in my hair. And so I only do it twice. You can always tighten it. Like as you guys can see, you can make it tighter. But yeah, you can do however many times tighter. around. You can even use two hair ties to make it more secure. Sometimes I do it, but just since I wasn't going anywhere, I just did it twice. Cause like I said, I don't want a dent in my hair. So keep watching. I don't know what I'm doing. But yeah guys, that was the final look. It's very easy, simple hairstyle. Um, it's just, you know, a nice hairstyle for the summer, refreshing, back to school, whatever you want. This hairstyle is literally just one of my natural hair go-to if it's not a messy bun, a side bun. And like I said, you can also turn this into a, I didn't say that, but you can turn this into a side bun by literally just like rolling that boy up and like going like that with a bobby pin. You can do that or you can just let it all hang loose. Like a, this is a tutorial on a ponytail and let it be a ponytail. So thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe. I really love the support that you guys are giving me on this channel. And if you want more styles on like what to do, just leave a comment. Don't be shy. Y'all leave that comment and let me know what y'all want because I will try my best to do it. But anyway, I love you. Thanks for watching. And...